Hi, Salam Sejahtera. Good afternoon to everyone. Thank you for coming here. And uh, my name is Abhishek from Malaysia. So I'm a sitar artist, a musician. So uh, today uh, I would like to share a little bit about uh, sitar, the instrument that was with me for a couple of years. So I would like to I make use of this MCO uh, in a way I can nurture the arts and also share some uh, tunes and also some ideas. So pada kawan-kawan yang uh, menyaksikan program ini, saya ingin uh, menyebut selamat datang dan terima kasih kerana menyokong saya uh, dalam aktiviti-aktiviti uh, uh, giat budaya dan seni. So hari ini saya akan ceritakan tentang uh, instrumen sitar. Uh, uh, saya sedar ramai uh, suka uh, alat muzik ini. So for, for my first uh, episode, I would like to introduce the sitar first, the ancient Indian instrument uh, to fellow Malaysian and also to the entire world. Uh, okay, tujuan program ini, okay. Uh, I have a motive of uh, having this program today. Uh, I would like to launch this uh, program called Warna Maligai. So it's basically mean Warna Maligai. So uh, both sounds the same, in, uh, means the same, you know, in uh, Sanskrit, Tamil, uh, and also in Bahasa Malaysia. So Warna means uh, uh, it's Warnam, uh, it's colorful. Warna and uh, Maligai is uh, the palace Maligai. So why I want to have this name is I want the, I mean, uh, all Malaysians to understand it. It does not. It should not sound particularly to one uh, language. So it also have to reach the world. So I uh, intentionally uh, chose this name. Uh, and this is the very first time I'm doing a live show. Uh, besides the interviews I've uh, attended, uh, invited by other hosts. So today I myself, uh, you know, have uh, came forward to do this live show. So please apologize, apologize. I know uh, my apologies if there's any shortcomings or you know delays or no tersasul or whatever. <laughs> Okay, so ini kali pertama saya buat live. So harap sabar. Okay, terima kasih kawan-kawan. Okay, um, as an opening uh, for this uh, show, uh, I would like to play a uh, piece which I learned from my master, uh, Master Samuel J. Das, uh, who is the icon of Malaysia, the sitar artist. And this raga is quite uh, famous, and it was descended to him by Pandit Ravi Shankar. And also, uh, this was taught to me in the year of 2014. So, I've been performing this piece a uh, few times in multiple stages. So, today, as an opening, and this raga is quite catchy and you know, it's like happy note. So, I would like to play that first. From opening. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. I'll tune. Thank you. 
Thank you. This is the very first time <laughs> I play live, and uh, just uh, excuse me for one minute. Okay, I have an, an technical pro here helping me out because this is not an ordinary Facebook live, so we have to do some settings here. And uh, as I say, this is the very first time, so we might have some interruptions and also some requirements to run the show in a uh, smooth flow. And um, talking about uh, Raga just now, this is uh, very uh, close to my heart, this piece. So which my guru taught me you know, when I was in uh, his class uh, during the year 2014 in pseudo brickfields so and i was uh, also given a chance an opportunity to stage this uh, piece of raga at the temple of fine arts uh, for my master's show and then after that uh, uh, we also performed this in seramban in jkk and in the year of 2014 for a production called me and my angels a production of unique arts and heritage measure and then uh, uh, thereafter I also learned a few ragas uh, from my master uh, the maestro Samuel Jedas and later I also uh, learned a few other pieces from my second master uh, who is Pandit uh, Janardhan Mukta from India and uh, uh, late, uh, later I'll be playing a piece which I learned from him also and uh, talking about the show uh, the Varna Maligai, uh, I would like to uh, explain the intention of having this show. So it's actually, I would like to nurture my co-fellow uh, arts nurturers in this country. Uh, we call them Pangyat Sini Budaya. So especially in this during this uh, time in this year, so we had uh, various plans, you know, uh, in our organization, we also have this uh, annual arts festival, which we call Uni Art Fest, and which we have to postpone or we may cancel uh, this year. And likewise, so many events, agendas, and also uh, activities, which has, has been postponed and also canceled. And uh, sad to say that this year is VM 2020. Uh, we should visit Malaysia. So unfortunately, we had this pandemic and and uh, it's everything is now on hold. So I really um, believe that everything will soon uh, uh, will be back to normal, not the new norm, <laughs> to the real normal. And uh, we might, uh, uh, we definitely will have uh, will will succeed. So, talking about the reason of my, uh, you know, opening this channel, is I would like to um, expose myself first to to the entire uh, nations where we have we celebrate diversity, and uh, myself I play few instruments. And uh, I would like to demonstrate one by one in weeks to come. So, like um, today, I'm I, I chose I just, I just just picked up sitar because you know it's so dear to me. At the same time, you know, uh, it is uh, it is the pure Indian classical instrument. So I would like to begin from there, and then late uh, later I will go to move on to uh, light classical traditional uh, folk and also uh, modern instruments. So in that row we will have uh, harmonium, uh, sape, and uh, ukulele, keyboard, and uh, some guitars maybe, and uh, mouth organ, uh, mouth harp, uh, and so on, keyboards, you know, like synthesizer, demonstrating, you know, how we can use it for traditional stuff and all that how we can use technology 
for our uh, arts and, and uh, like performing arts, especially for music. So uh, that's the intention of me having this program. And besides myself explaining and exposing about myself only, because that's the easiest thing to do. I don't have to, you know, uh, convince or prepare anyone who are not really into it. So because uh, not everyone is free at all the time. And even though I see the sad thing is there are many musicians and artists uh, and, uh, you know, like arts nurturers and event companies. But what they do, uh, they have, I, I'm not, uh, you know, pinpointing anyone, but without any agenda, nobody is coming forward to nurture this app. So that means uh, either it must be a show or either you you must make some money or you have some some benefit uh, out of it or any you know which can uh, gain for themselves so i believe that art shouldn't be like that it should be nurtured whether you are in difficulties or you are in any situation not depending on commercial you know thing like earning money or whatever so besides myself exposing i also will invite some co-artists or malaysian artists who are willing to share uh, things on online so that's why today we have this platform is it's, it's not an ordinary uh, Facebook live thing. It, it is a thing we can have multi windows. We can have some discussion. So this is the uh, agenda and the intention of having this program. So I believe, okay, saya percaya uh, program ini akan membawa satu, I mean, alert atau I mean awareness or prihatin kepada, you know. in near future so i think even the mco over uh, we still have to uh, on this uh, you know situation this rough situation a program which will keep them engaged to gain a little bit of knowledge you know uh, from me or my from my co-artists so that's the main purpose of having this program so even though it is small or even even it is interruption disconnected
Raga is called Palas Kafi. Sorry for the interruption just now. I think um, you know it was disconnected. And, uh, and this was a piece which I learned from my master Pandit Janardhan Mitta in India, uh, direct disciple of uh, Pandit Ravi Shankar Ji. And uh, this is also one of the pieces which is quite long. So I just uh, I just played two stanzas. And uh, uh, la later, I'll be playing other songs also, like folk and also uh, some Malaysian songs. And uh, thank you, everyone. I can see people coming in and for your comments and likes and uh, your your lovely wishes. And um, I'm not able to read everything, but uh, I will try my best because it is unlike uh, Facebook, you can't see everything. And, uh, and uh, I have to go through because I'm being the performer, the presenter. So sorry if I really can't uh, read everything. And uh, the next song which I would like to play is a Malay number, and I don't have to give you the the title. Okay. <laughs> Okay, 
and this is loved by everyone so i just chose this song and uh, and then the, the next song will be a chinese song <laughs> think uh, it's time for me to read some comments uh, where I can just uh, scroll at the side okay well, many of you have wished uh, happy birthday also <laughs> so I chose this day to launch this program because it, I want it to be a memorable one so so thank you for the wishes and uh, maybe you can scroll down happy birthday. Can scroll down please and then thank you Dinesh Anand Taufan and Vimal Hassan, uh, Jay Sri Silvraj, Savitri Velaidan, Harsha Vardhani, Dinesh Tangaraju, uh, Dr. Karit, and uh, Prishya Nayar Malhwani, Aaron Das, Tanalichmi Sundaram, and then we can go down a little bit and a uh, few more. Thank you everyone for the love and support and also for the wishes. Uh, it's a lovely. And uh, I will move on to the uh, next agenda, which I've played uh, classical, two classical numbers, and one Malay, one Chinese. And I would like to move on to a, a Tamil number, which is also uh, no, this is this is not a uh, classical. This is from a cinema song, where there might be some people would like to hear a commercial song, which they know, because raga is always played on a classical stage, and only classical people uh, enjoy it that much compared to people who are not into classical field. So I would like to play a song uh, from an 80s movie. This is composed by a Maestro Ilyaraja. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Then if you have any questions, uh, you can ask me. I think some of the question was deleted, uh, you know, due to the interruption just now. <coughs> Messages also was uh, gone. Okay, anyway, um, I would like to hear. Okay, so is that someone telling that they can't hear the song? Is it okay? Okay. Okay, thank you, thank you. Devijit Sandran and Kalevani Angaragan and for the credits and for the compliments and uh, uh, looking I mean forward for some more questions because uh, due to the interruption some of the messages was gone with the earlier uh, I mean, session so please feel free to type it again and uh, I just have uh, three more songs to play, which is one is Hindi number and one is a uh, tune from Borneo, from Sarawak. And another semi-classical or uh, folk way, let's say, it's called Pancham Gara. So uh, before I end, uh, I will play two more, I mean, before I officially launch this uh, uh, program, I will play another two more songs. Okay. So I would like to inform something that today we have a special guest today with us, uh, the director, the Pangara of uh, Jabatan Kebudayaan dan Kesenian Negara, uh, in Chi, uh, Radzi Omar, with us. He's waiting in the in the waiting room. Uh, so he will be coming in to launch the uh, program today. I mean uh, the channel. So, saya mengucapkan terima kasih kepada Tuan Pengara yang sebentar lagi akan masuk di dalam broadcast ini. So, saya terima kasih kepada Tuan kerana sabar menunggu di sana. Okay, so maybe I will give him some time, about 10 minutes time for him to speak about this program and what he feels, uh, whether I'm doing the right thing or is it can be improved from because I'm always open for comments and also for suggestions. So please feel free to suggest if you think we can do it better or in a different way. At the same time, if you are, if you really feel if this is uh, good enough, you can also, uh, you know, send your, your comments here. Okay, I will just end this uh, session before we launch the program. Uh, I will just play another two more numbers, which is uh, a Hindustani one. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sarawak, Borneo, it's called Datun Julut. Okay, one of my favorite uh, songs which I used to play, and that is traditional. And uh, I, I'm done with uh, the variety of songs which I want to present a little bit, you know, whichever I can. And sorry for the interruption and also some, uh, you know, shortcomings, uh, small, small mistakes, you know. 
as I told you all, this is the very first time I'm doing live show. At the same time, I also have to concentrate and few other things uh, to run the show online. And it's not it's not easy. It's the first time. It's not a, it's a new normal. So, okay. So, terima kasih kepada semua yang uh, menonton uh, program ini. Saya once again, uh, sekali lagi saya ingin ucapkan terima kasih dan selamat datang uh, demi uh, sokongan dan juga uh, ini, uh, uh, minat terhadap uh, anda tunjukkan kepada seni dan budaya. So dengan ini saya ingin menjemput uh, uh, yang berusaha tuan pengarah uh, Inci Radzi Omar uh, masuk ke dalam broadcast untuk memberi ucapan uh, dan juga memberi pandangan serta merasmikan melancarkan program ini dan serta channel YouTube saya. Terima kasih. Selamat datang uh, Tuan uh, Razi Omar. Selamat, selamat bertemu di uh, live, secara live kita pada petang ini. Yeah. Um, Pertama sekali, uh, saya ingin mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada uh, Abi Sheikh dan uh, yang paling utama yang saya nak ucapkan pada petang ini adalah Happy Birthday oh. <laughs> Happy Birthday kepada Uh, uh, Abishik special friend uh, 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 dan uh, saya uh, mengucapkan uh, tahniah kepada Abishik dan juga uh, Uni Art Negeri Sembilan khususnya uh, telah meng mengadakan secara live ini dan merupakan satu inisiatif yang cukup-cukup uh, bagus khususnya uh, semasa kita berada dalam era pandemik COVID-19. Jadi uh, saya uh, cukup bangga dengan usaha yang telah ditunjukkan oleh anda dan juga tim your team dalam uh, merealisasikan uh, program khususnya uh, pada petang ini. Uh, jadi saya melihat tadi uh, persembahan atau permainan solo Sita yang uh, mana telah uh, dimainkan lagu-lagu uh, uh, dalam lagu-lagu India, lagu-lagu Melayu, lagu-lagu Cina. Jadi kita nampak di sini satu kesepaduan uh, muhibah uh, yang telah ditunjukkan oleh Abishi and uh, team dalam uh, berkiat dalam bidang seni dan budaya khususnya di Negeri Sembilan. Uh, kita sedia maklum bahawa uh, COVID-19 telah menghalang kita uh, secara umumnya telah menghalang kita sebagai orang-orang uh, seni, sebagai penggiat untuk bergiat secara, uh, secara langsung. Maksud saya di sini, uh, kalau sebelum ini kita telah selalu uh, mengadakan persembahan di kalayak ramai. Tapi kali ini uh, kita tidak boleh uh, uh, mengadakan persembahan di kalayak ramai. Uh, justru uh, adanya kaedah-kaedah yang yang sepatutnya yang boleh kita buat. Pada saya, COVID-19 tidak menjadi penghalang kepada kita orang-orang seni dan budaya atau aktivis-aktivis seni khususnya dalam uh, bergiat dengan aktif uh, dengan mengadakan persembahan dan sebagainya. Uh, justru persembahan yang boleh kita uh, buat adalah melalui uh, tarian seperti ini. Ya. Yeah. Kita sedia maklum SOP pihak kerajaan uh, tidak membenarkan kita untuk uh, mengadakan persembahan-persembahan di kaya ramai. Tapi walaupun bagaimanapun uh, satu inisiatif yang uh, yang cukup bagus yang telah dilaksanakan atau telah dibuat 
pada petang ini oleh Abishik dan uh, tim uh, dalam me, me, supaya seni itu tidak mati. Supaya seni itu tidak mati. Seni itu di mana-mana saja bila-bila pun uh, boleh kita laksanakan. Dan uh, pada saya uh, satu usaha yang bagus dan uh, sedikit saya uh, ucapkan dalam bahasa Inggeris lah ya sebagai untuk kawan-kawan kita juga. Good afternoon for good afternoon Abby and all. Uh, sincere congratulations on your latest project. On behalf uh, National Culture and Art uh, Negeri Sembilan, I would like to convey our sincere thanks toward your contribution in uh, performing art creative project. You are proof that good things come to those who are a never stop to be creative in life and always see things with potential. You have the creativity and determination to do whatever you dream to prove to the performing art industry. I hope you feel proud today and confident in your ability to raise to your next bigger project. We can express how produce are uh, proud we are of you. Keep doing, keep creating, keep spreading positive vibe for a better world. Thank you. Okay, terima kasih, terima kasih banyak banyak. Uh, you have really created a positive vibe today, especially this is a special day. Okay, uh, that's why I chose this day to launch the program. <laughs> okay, so something. And uh, ucapan tuan pengarah telah uh, menambah uh, menaik taraf program saya hari ini. <laughs> no, it's so, it's already. So, satu 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 program yang uh, yang cukup bagus ha? yang cukup bagus uh, uh, pada saya inilah uh, penggiat seperti ini yang kita perlukan di mana saja tidak tidak ada halangan dalam kita bergiat uh, khususnya bagi orang-orang seni orang-orang budaya tidak pernah berputus asa dalam melahirkan aktiviti-aktiviti uh, dan kreatifnya tersendiri. Uh, kita jangan sentiasa, kita jangan uh, berada pada tahap beku. Uh, kita jangan jadi tahap beku. Kerana uh, uh, COVID melanda. Tidak. Sepatutnya uh, apabila COVID yang datang seperti ini, lagi menambahkan lagi bagaimana kita boleh berkreatif uh, dalam dalam me, me, merealisasikan aktiviti-aktiviti uh, seni dan budaya. Dan uh, saya juga... Uh, Sangat-sangat bangga lah dengan dengan Abishik. Bermula daripada 18 hari bulan Mei yang pertama dulu PKP dan minggu kedua beliau telah dengan timnya telah melahirkan satu adik-adik yang bagus, aktiviti-aktiviti seni dan budaya sehingga kan satu lagu yang cukup menarik Ha, cukup menarik lagu uh, lagu Melayu lagu lama tapi dibawa dalam uh, melodi uh, Hindi dinyanyikan dalam bahasa Hindi bahasa Hindustan ya eh? kata si Hindustan ke atau bukan Tamil ya? Eh? It also dub dalam Tamil. Yeah, dalam Tamil. Is... Original pertama kali lagu dalam bahasa Hindi. Ya yeah. cantik sekali. So bila bila saya dengar yang itu saya saya rasa satu uh, idea kreatif yang cukup bagus uh, dan tahniah kerana telah diambil uh, oleh uh, disiarkan juga dalam dalam uh, stesen TV kalau tak silap saya dan juga dalam dalam uh, akhbar harian dalam dasar dan juga apa tu satu lagi dalam bernama TV ya eh? dalam bernama bernama TV and TV, TV3, RTM and also satu lagi ya, NL Ya, yeah, sebab itu yeah. satu satu kreatif, uh, idea yang kreatif yang cukup bagus 
menggabungkan lagu Melayu dinyanyikan menggunakan melodi Hindi dan nyanyikan juga dalam bahasa Tamil. Jadi Dr. Wan Sawitri yang uh, apa ni punca uh, uh, Iya iya. Iya itu uh, saya juga tidak lupalah untuk Puan Sawitri uh, yang banyak uh, memberi sumbangan uh, khususnya kita uh, di JKKN yang telah banyak sangat dia membantu kami di JKKN Negeri Sembilan. Uh, so saya rasa uh, saya cukup happy pada petang ini kerana diberi peluang untuk bersama-sama dengan uh, anda pada petang ini. Okay. So terima kasih tuan pengarah. Inilah tiba masa untuk uh, sepatah dua kata dan uh, melancarkan program dengan resmi. Okay. Um, dengan rasa amat-amat gembira saya melancarkan program uh, Facebook hmm. uh, Unit Art atau ABC M dengan namanya tu okay. dengan rasminya untuk petang ini. Terima kasih. Okey. Terima kasih. Terima kasih uh, Tuan Pengarah. And then uh, sekali lagi saya ingin uh, uh, menerangkan uh, apa erti channel ini. Program ini adalah warna maliga adalah warna pelbagai jenis seni dan budaya Maligai itu palace kan palace tu dia uh, rich with promoting uh, kaya raya dengan uh, banyak uh, I mean uh, banyak benda ataupun uh, outstanding things so itulah uh, tajuk yang saya pilih untuk channel ini dan uh, nama uh, channel YouTube saya adalah abishek.m artworks so uh, I think all of you can remember and uh, please subscribe and uh, support me. Buat masa ini saya ada empat konten sahaja iaitu sesi-sesi uh, kelas saya uh, dan juga satu one or two of my cover song uh, yang saya buat masa pukul ini suci dalam debu uh, baru apa ni Malaysian song and also saya ada satu uh, video uh, daripada topik daripada Rainforest World Music Festival tahun 2016 yang kita uh, perform and only four of content uh, is there. Setiap, uh, setiap minggu saya akan tambahkan dengan video-video uh, yang menarik dan juga profile uh, saya uh, dan juga aktiviti yang terlepas. Kita telah pun uh, pernah perform for World Harvest Festival tiga kali. So banyak foto dengan video kami ada dalam hard disk kita yang belum disiarkan atau belum kita share. So saya ingin uh, compile semua video uh, dan juga uh, uh, bukan saja menggiat uh, juga uh, saya akan uh, beri, saya boleh mementaskan kepada semua yang kita telah dipentaskan beberapa beberapa tahun dulu so art never dies you know, even it's gone dia uh, masih uh, aktif so saya akan share video-video yang uh, boleh uh, membawa Uh, inspirasi kepada uh, semua. It's not only sharing about uh, saya buat ni, saya buat itu, saya pernah buat ni bukan macam itu sahaja. Uh, yeah. that, yes, of course we are exposing about ourselves and telling what are we, what we have done. Uh, but juga kami ingin uh, uh, inspire orang. Oh, kita boleh buat macam ada juga peluang macam ni. So, especially saya ingin uh, wujudkan banyak artis tempatan compare to you know uh, kita tengok pemuzik dan penari-penari yang macam sorry to say sometimes they just uh, shock sendiri they want to perform only for the wedding ataupun for shows for concert itu saja bukan untuk bergiat uh, bukan saja kita pergi sana sini menyanyi sini menyanyi sana untuk majlis perkahwinan ke ataupun dalam yeah. uh, apa, apa event ke Uh, demi apa ni for survival uh, or for fame but it is very important to nurture to to bergiat untuk mewujudkan artis-artis untuk masa depan so buat masa ini saya kami di sekolah kami Unique Arts Academy ada sembilan orang murid yang uh, undergoing the biasiswa scholarship so saya uh, amat uh, gembira saya baru saja one of
Kami walaupun itu anak murid saya, my god child, tapi saya rasa gembira plan dan apa yang kita telah rancang sudah pun berjaya. So, in the same lineup we have another eight more students to do the same thing. Ya. Yeah. Okay, sekali lagi uh, saya mohon kepada semua yang uh, menonton uh, YouTube ini supaya yeah, itulah, menyokong Ya, uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah. yeah, menyokong yeah. untuk subscribe uh, video ini. Okey, terima kasih. Uh, sorry tergendala. Okay. Okay. Uh, saya ingin uh, ucap, mengucapkan terima kasih kepada semua yang menyaksikan program ini dan juga tuan pengarah terutamanya Nandri Wanakam. Uh, saya akan mengakhiri uh, program ini dengan satu uh, semi classical, you know, piece uh, which I learned from Pandit Janardhan Mitra from India, and this is a folk number. Terima kasih and bye bye semua. Terima kasih. Bye. Once again to my director of uh, JKKN, Encik Tuan uh, Raji Omar dan juga kepada Family Unique Arts, uh, Puan Savitri dan juga semua kru 
yang membantu saya dan juga kepada technical crew and also to all the fellow viewers and who supported me thank you very much as you once again bye